iodine deficiency is identified as one of the common causes of goiter. In the Philippines, 15 provinces are being monitored for having low iodine levels, despite the existence of the ASEAN law which aims to eliminate iodine deficiency disorders. These provinces are now under increased scrutiny to raise awareness about goiter, particularly among pregnant women, with the goal of preventing intellectual disability in newborns. Ang thyroid gland po ay kumukuha ng ginagamit po niya yung iodine upang siya ay makagawa ng sapat na dami ng thyroid hormones. So napakahalaga po ng iodine sa ating katawan. Kapag may iodine deficiency ang isang tao, hindi po makakagawa ng sapat na daming hormone, ng thyroid hormone ang isang tao, ang thyroid gland, so siya po ay magiging hypothyroid. Siya po ay magtatrabaho over time, no? Uh, magtatrabaho po siya ng mas higit sa usual na trabaho uh, dahilan na lalaki po ang thyroid. Based on a survey and clinical examination conducted by the Department of Science and Technology, out of more than 7,000 patients or responders, 8.9% were found to have goiter. Right? Again, kapag sobrang lumaki na ang thyroid, pwede na po itong umipit sa daluyan ng hangin, daluyan ng pagkain. At kung may bukol, may chance po itong maging cancer. Experts emphasize that goiter can affect anyone, with the women being particularly susceptible. Mas madalas po itong mangyari sa mga babae kaysa sa mga lalaki. Mas madalas po ito. Uh, dumadalas po ang frequency, ang chance na magkaroon po nito habang tumatanda rin ang isang pasyente at kung meron sa lahi. In light of these findings, apart from recommending consultations with healthcare professionals, the health agency is encouraging Filipinos to incorporate iodine-rich foods into their diet. This includes items such as bread, seaweed, oysters, milk, eggs, and tuna. Gladys Tuabi, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.